The Egyptian government has declared a state of alert after protesters forced their way into the Israeli embassy building in Cairo. There's been gunfire and many people are reported to have been injured. It's the second such demonstration in a matter of weeks. Protesters are angry at last month's killing of five Egyptian soldiers by Israeli troops. The Israeli ambassador has now flown out of the country. Bill Hayton reports. Okay, thank you. Bethany Bell, our correspondent, live in Cairo. Now to Libya, where forces opposed to Colonel Gaddafi say they've now entered Bani Walid, one of just four towns still loyal to the deposed leader. Their chief negotiator said their forces are just a couple of kilometers from the center and that they could have control of the town within hours. Our correspondent Richard Galpin is there. Security has been stepped up in New York and Washington.